Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're going to go back to a little bit of Genesis from uh, the album Duke and this is from 1980. I've got questions to ask. I'm listening to it again for the first time in many many years knowingly but I'm listening with a different ear and I'm trying to place kind of a throwback isn't it a flashback yeah not a throwback flashback so what did it mean then and what does it mean if you listen to it now if I was 20 listening to it now how would I interpret this song would I want to do it the way everybody did it 40 years ago? Or would I want to do it for myself the way it is now? That's a question I ask myself. So, stick with me guys. This is way up here. Here we go. <laughs> questions for the Genesis fans this feels like and if my memory serves me right is this is the first album post Gabriel leaving is it because it has that poppy length and feel to it but it's all this also feels dark lyrically um, you know when you listen to the song we'll pull it together at the end and I also like that bit at the beginning mm. was that the the mimicry of a microphone or was it an actual microphone or a microphone or an amp being plugged in, you get that static build up. Goes, you're going to first comes on. Is that the turn it on again? Signifying the TV, that and the radio? I don't know. Let me know, Genesis fans, you'll know. This is just my opinion.
okay, that is dark, interesting, and musically 80s, but not so much, because if you think about it at the time, you were you had the... Obviously, Genesis has been around a while by then, but you had that post-punk thing going on. You had New Wave was about to hit the scene. So you had a lot of music going on. Um, 70s into 80s, late 70s, 80s. Politically, you had the fall of the Berlin Wall in 79. So there's a lot going on. So what was the context of the song for Genesis? Now, they introduced itself. All that I need is a TV show, that and the radio. Down on my look again, down on my look again. I can show you some of the people in my life. I can show you. I get so lonely when she's not there. Who's she's not there? Is it the TV or is it? Is the down on his look again someone who's left him? And all he's got left is the TV and the radio. Can I meet you another day and we'll fly away? Can you do, can't you do anything for me? Can I touch you for a while? I've known you very so very long. I feel, I feel you like a friend. That's really quite of a... That's a, it sounds like a descent into, into a mental health issue. and But if you played this to me today, if they released this today, I'd be singing about the last two and a half years. That's what this would be telling me. That's how I'd be linking some of it, is living our life through the radio and podcasts and, you know, and nothing else, and you're down on your luck again. And you're not, you're detached slightly from reality, but you know you're missing it. I'll turn it on again. I can't see it. I can see another face relinking with the reality through your screen. I don't know. Kids on their phones with WhatsApp messages. Was it back then? Was it just a song about somebody who's down on their luck and d- descending into a, a crisis, a, a sort of almost schizophrenic crisis? But, but it's quite poppy as well, which is cool because it would have escaped a lot of people's attention, Genesis fans and... Uh, and more avid, ardent music listeners, more discerning music listeners, would have been known what this was about. But on your first listen, it's not. Yeah, that's, I guess, why the Genesis catalogue is so large and worldwide and millions upon millions of albums. Yeah. Genesis fans, let me know. Tell me where I've gone off the trail. The trail off the rails. If you like it, guys, just click like. That's all I ask. Till next time, guys, take care.